So I'll show you a little sound editing stuff on the RK002 NTS1 cable. Um, let's load up the custom preset I made for the uh, launch key. It's on the second here. I have color coded the first five to indicate which kind of um, sound editing mode you're in on the eight dials because well the NTS1 has about 30 parameters and we have only eight knobs so I'm using a little matrix to uh, map the uh, controllers under different numbers uh, depending on which page you are. Now um, normally uh, the NTS1 starts up with basic sound but now I've saved some sounds into the RK002 and it will, yeah, it will just leave, uh, it will start up where you left off actually, so. Um. So listening to this, I now have a special sound, not the basic uh, saw sound from the NTS1. It's because when you start the RK002, it will send its last preset to the NTS1. Um, you also notice that there's velocity sensitivity and you can use the mod wheel to uh, control the mod depth. These are extra uh, effects which are also saved in the RK002 together with the sound um, parameters. Um, well, how does this work then? You can toggle that effect via this button. Right here. Here you hear the velocity. And now there's no difference. I thought it was a nice addition, so I built it in the cable. Um, now, um, concerning the parameters, uh, well, first the blue colors are presets you can store in the cable and send to the um, NTS1 on. Uh, on the startup, so this is preset one, preset two, three. Um, these are if you load up the software into the cable, they won't be in the cable because these are presets I just added and saved into this cable. Also, if you have a different uh, oscillator on the NTS-1, um, yeah, your presets will sound different than the NTS-1 of someone else who doesn't have those oscillators because uh, these affect the um, parameter uh, values actually. So, um, well, that said, I'll have here some extras, find a bit of a... This is an empty one. This is the initial preset which are saved in the memory of the RK-2. So let's say I now want to change some stuff with it. Um, I am in bank one, this. So this is filter resonation. Filter resonance and filter cutoff. Uh, envelope release. Envelope attack. Uh, envelope type, well, and here the modulators, subsettings of the oscillator. Like, uh, finally, these wave oscillator makes sense when you can access them a bit easier. But anyway, put it back to Square. Oh, well, I can use the arpeggiator from the Lonsky Mini to um, keep a uh, little melody going and uh, change parameters to see what's happening. So, uh, well, on the second page here, you see LFO depth, uh, rate. Well, now I can. I have disabled the uh, effects from the RK002. I can enable it. So now we have velocity activation and 
uh, modulation wheel. Modulation wheel maps on the LFO depth here. Okay, well, and now you hear the filter doesn't really make a difference, but um, well, I better change the um, filter basic mode. Now you'll hear the difference in the sound. I can exaggerate this a little bit with filter. go to the effects section which is 4 here I can set the uh, type of effect depth mix and then there's another this one here is actually more of a mixing section you can uh, access quickly access the filter resonance and cutoff and you can access the mix only and well modulation depth I haven't set it yet so now that won't be of much use but if I look at this one it's page three modulation depth and type so now it makes a difference and it will do performance as well Preset here, and you want to save it. Uh, you just choose uh, some of your liking. You press this one, keep it pressed, and then press a preset you want to save it on. For example, this one. There. Now it's saved the memory. I can go to another one and go back to it again. And when I press it, it will also be saved in the cable as a startup mode for the next time you, you use the NTS-1. I can uh, show it, I can unplug it all here. So NTS-1 is reset now. I plug it in, wait until it's start up. And you'll hear basic sound. Now I plug in the RK2, wait until it starts up and now yeah, sounds back again. Um, well, so far this little demo of this uh, DUI firmware. Um, so you can download the source if you want to use it for a different machine, maybe uh, adapt it for a different keybed or whatever. Um, I think it's very handy, could have lots of uses also for other devices, so who knows. Uh, I hope you have uh, fun with it, 